Let's go now in the general tab of the driver. You'll have the name here, ZXP uh, driver is just an information. You can fill in here location and comment if you wish. Okay. You can here directly click on print the test page and this will print a reduced size of a A4 page created basically by Microsoft. And as our printers print only on 86 by 54 millimeter, the only thing you are going to see would be the four colors from the uh, Microsoft uh, logo and maybe a couple of letters. So basically uh, it has uh, no point as far as uh, looking of the image quality and if the printer prints nicely, but it has, I would say, a fair advantage is just to be sure that everything is connected. So if you are able to print by clicking on the print test page, at least you know the printer is able to receive data, the USB cable is correct and connected, your driver has been correctly installed and everything basically is communicating. More than that, you will need more sophisticated images to estimate the quality and so on. But at least the print test page is a very quick way to check if connectivity is perfect. The most important in the general tab would be printing preferences. There, here, you have four tabs, but let's concentrate on the card setup because that's the most important one you really have to discuss with end user or partner or reseller, whatever. There are obvious ones like card source. As you can see here, by default, we are going to take the card from the feeder, which is the normal way to operate. If for any reason you wish to have a uh, card fed from the ATM mode, called here single card feed slot, just select it. Or if you had a card already on the printer and you just want to do something else on the card, click already in printer. Again, default would be using the card feeder. Card destination here, same situation. By default, it's output hopper. However, you have the choices of sending it to the reject tray, which is just below the ATM mode, the feeding mode, or you can leave the card in the printer. Those two again is probably more for testing and so on. So again, for normal usage, you will have your output hopper as destination. Most critical here is card type in use. And as you can see by default is PVC card, pure PVC card. When you click here, you are going to be presented with a lot of possibilities. And let's concentrate from PVC to PETG uh, now. You must, and this is very s important to uh, know and to tell your customer, that the printer, for example, does not know if there is a magnetic encoding on your card, except if you select it. So for example, if you select PVC, which is again by default, you are going to see here a couple of information. We'll go back to this one afterwards. Your printer, like it is, will not be able to magnetic encode because you did not select it. So it's very important. The first operation before printing is to know which kind of card you are going to use. In principle, evidently, the user knows that and to select it. So Zebra has made a lot of tests using those cards here and depending which card you are going to select the temperature of the heater transfer rollers will adapt themselves according to the card then when you are going to print the card will not wobble or whatever when you click on one card you are going to be shown the card specification here. So for the PVC card, 
Okay, as you can see, there is no max drive, no contact encoding, no contactless. And all those parameters here, which are over here, temperatures for the transfer rollers, and here the speed of the card going in and out, okay, has been set up directly by engineering, let's say by manufacturing. If you do select, for example, another card like a composite card, here you are going to have a different temperature and speed probably, but again, everything is grayed out and you cannot change anything. If you do select a card with, for example, PVC high core, then as you can see here, the max stripe is ticked. Then the printer will know there is a max stripe and will be uh, allowing you to encode. Again, I insist it's very important as the first operation before using the printer to select the proper card over there. I will go back to custom one and two later on. You have here orientation, which is basically to print on landscape uh, format or portrait format. You will see here what's going on. So if I select, for example, portrait, I will print like this, quite obvious. I can select if I have a double side printer to print on both sides. But if for any reason I have a particular job to do where I should print only on one side, just select here no and automatically you will be presented with a uh, one side only. You can select to rotate the card, yes or no, for the front, for the back or for both. And this basically is going to mirror the way the image is printed onto the card. You can select number of copies, usually it's one. And if you wish, you can print the front image on the back side, yes or no. Usually you leave it on no. However, you can, as you see here, swap front and back. Again, this is basically uh, your customer which will decide what he wants to do.